People focus on effects. Pros focus on the fundamentals. Let me show you how to turn shots like this, where you have all this unwanted stuff in the background, into a shot like this, making your shots look more cinematic, more professional, and overall, like a bigger budget production. So let's get into it. So here we are in After Effects. First thing I wanna do is actually stabilize the shot. So what I'm gonna do is right click it, track and stabilize, track motion, and drag this right here. Okay, and over here in our tracker panel, we're gonna hit play forward and then just keep an eye on it, make sure it stays in the same spot. Now that it's done tracking, we're gonna go over here and hit transform, turn that into stabilize and then hit apply. Then we're gonna go X and Y, yeah, and then we hit okay. Then next thing we're gonna do is hit P, keyframe at the start, go to the end and click these two just to bring that shot back down. As long as the shot is nicely aligned in the same spot, that's fine. We can reposition the shot later on just to make it perfect, but this is good enough to work for now. So we're gonna go right click, pre-compose, move all attributes into the new comp, and then boom, now we have a new comp. Next thing we wanna do, and this is the most annoying part, is we're gonna roto all of these ropes. The way that I'm thinking we should do this is we're gonna do a, a roto brush on the bottom part, we're gonna do a luma key on the top part, and then all of this fun stuff in the middle, we're gonna have to do by hand with masks. So let's get into it, eh? All right, I'm gonna go up here, roto brush, and then double click, and then let's brush the main parts. And we're gonna hit spacebar and let it run. Okay, cool. So now that the roto is done, we're gonna hit freeze and then let that freeze. This locks in the roto. All right, cool. So now that it's frozen, so what I think would be pretty good is if we made this 10, this feather made it 10, and then we'll go over here and then we'll go type in key cleaner. I think this would clean it up pretty nicely. And if we have a look here, yeah, perfect. So now we're gonna duplicate this guy and delete the roto and the key cleaner on the bottom layer. And then we're gonna turn off the roto layer because what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a mask around this the, the ropes at the top here. Okay, and we're gonna hit M keyframe and drag it all the way to the end and then just make sure that it still covers all these ropes. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and go Luma key, drag the Luma key on and we're gonna key out the brightest parts and then drag this threshold up a little bit until we start seeing those rope bits come back in. Awesome, cool. So that is the ropes and we're going to add a key cleaner just for fun. So as you can see, it's brought back some of the bits that we don't want. So we're going to go over here and we're going to go threshold, make a key and a keyframe and drag it back to the start and then adjust this so that that white sky disappears. Okay, cool. And we're just going to scrub throughout this shot and just make sure that white stuff doesn't come back. And I think we're looking pretty good. Next thing we're going to want to do and is duplicate the bottom layer. We're going to delete the mask from it and we're going to delete Luma key and the key cleaner. So we're back to the original shot. Okay. We're going to, we're going to turn off the top two layers and now we know we're just working with the original shot here. So what I'm going to do is go over here to my pen tool and let's start up here. Boom, that's one. We're gonna make it none. And we're gonna go through, add a keyframe. I might just scrub forward a little bit and then just adjust it as we go. Cause I might lose track of which one's what. All right, boys. So while I'm masking the boat out, I just wanted to take a second to let you know that we have even more for you. In the description of this video, you're going to find a link to our academy. So in our academy, we will be uploading the full in-depth tutorial to every tutorial that you see on our YouTube. As well as that, the goal for us is to build the biggest film editing and VFX community on WAP. So currently we are the biggest. So yeah, join the community. And uh, with that, I'll see you guys back in the tutorial. Okay, cool. So that's one rope. We have about 20 more to go. All right, so we're back and I've just roted all of these ropes. Um, we're gonna go and select all of these masks and we're gonna hit add. So what we're gonna do as well, select all of these masks, open it up and then the mask expansion, let's make it negative one. Let's see, okay. So this is what it looks like. So we're gonna duplicate this bottom layer hit M and delete all of these masks. So we're back to our original shot. And what I see here is that we are going to need to create this uh, background. So the best thing we're gonna do is go through it 
and take screenshots. We're going to save PNG frames of, of the sections and then we're going to take it into Photoshop and then create our background plate. So we'll start here. Boom. I've, I've dragged that to select only one frame. We're going to go export. And we're going to go PNG sequence and because it's only one frame, it won't be a sequence. And then I'm just going to click somewhere to save. Okay. So we'll go one at the end and we're going to export one at the start. All right. So now that we've uh, opened up Photoshop, we've dragged in our two frames and we have this one and the other one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this out. All right. And the goal is I'm going to create almost like a panorama. So I'm going to... Command A or Control A, Control C, and then Control V. And then what I'm going to do is turn the opacity down to 50 so I can kind of see what I'm working with. And then I'm going to line two shots up so that those trees in the background, they kind of uh, match up. And that's pretty all right. Okay. And I'm going to turn the opacity of that back on. And then let's get the eraser tool. And we'll just delete a bit of this. Okay, cool. All right. And the next thing we want to do is merge them. And then we're going to go up here and lasso tool. Just select the two boats. And then we're going to hit remove. Uh, we're going to hit generative fill and then we'll type in remove and then hit generate so that should remove this boat all right cool so now that that's done we're going to merge those layers and then go over here type in polygonal lasso tool select this horizon over here and then type in endless horizon yup and hit generate and now we will scrub through and just find yeah this is the best one for sure so we're going to go and merge them merge and i'm just going to go over here and i'm just going to go control t and just drag that up a little bit just because i saw a little little gap there all right cool so now that we have our panorama i'm just going to go crop and then crop all this white bit uh white space out and like so we'll go um and export this as a png we have our shot and we have our plate so the next step is actually to track the plate onto this background here. So on the bottom layer, we're gonna go track and stabilize, track motion, okay? And we're gonna go to this edge of this building. That's one. And then this little tree thing here, we're gonna go over to our um, tracker panel, hit rotation, and then go here, make that a bit bigger. And then we're just gonna play forward and that should track pretty nicely. Cool, so now that that's tracked, right click down here, we'll go new, Null object, edit target, and then go null number one, the one we just made, and then hit apply. Make sure this says transform, hit apply, and it's gonna say X and Y, we're gonna hit yes. And what that does is creates a null for us. And then from there, we're gonna go over to that background plate we made and drag it in. So now that we've dragged it in, we're gonna go all the way to the end and then hit this squiggly tool thing and drag it over to the null. So that's our background. We're gonna drag this down under here. So what we wanna do, is we'll go over here and hit this mask tool and we're just going to uh, draw a mask over here and then we're going to hit f for feather and we're going to feather out by 150 c okay so as you can see this is dark these parts are dark so i'm not a big fan of that so what you know what we're going to do and i have a little pro tip for it okay so what we're going to do is go and find that layer and what we're going to do is we're going to go fill okay and drag a fill over it and now it's made it all red right so we're going to turn this fill off and then hit this eyedropper tool. Shade. Boom. And with that, that's how you get rid of the background in the shot. So that's the effect. With the things that we went through in this video, there's no reason why you should be restricted by your locations and budget. If you like this video, sub to the channel for weekly tutorials and I'll catch you guys in the next video.